So what's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, I do have a sore throat, I honestly don't know why, I should probably go and get a drink, but today, you're going to have to put up with me, we're going to be talking about multiple universes within our zombie storyline, and how possibly we are now staying in the same universe, because it really wouldn't make any sense to go off into different universes. What we are trying to do within our zombie storyline is to continue, we are trying to be successful, and if we switch to another universe, the progress that we have made would be reset. Us killing Richtofen and us killing Dempsey would no longer exist. We are trying to progress along with our zombie storyline. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be talking about. If you do enjoy and you want to support the video, drop a like rating, that'd be awesome. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get straight into it. So, we'll start off with the giant. That is the first step that Richtofen takes in order to secure a better tomorrow for the future. We know that is his plan. That is Maxus's and Richtofen's plan. If we go over to Richtofen's note and we take a look at what he writes down to do with this, he says, a universe has been born, the others must be undone. You can see to the left of that, there is the Earth, or there seems to be one major planet in the middle, and then surrounding it are multiple different universes. A load of them have X's on them, which I would assume is to show that Richtofen or Maxis has destroyed them. We know they have also destroyed the Shadows of Evil Universe. In fact, they have been travelling uh, previously to this from universe to universe, trying to sort things out, either kill their former selves. Nikolai says that Richtofen, or Nikolai says that he has killed Richtofen, multiple times, showing that he has travelled to different universes, killing multiple versions of Richtofen. They have now come all over to the giant, and Richtofen again has killed another version of himself. Again, going back to Richtofen's plan, you can see his plan is to make sure all of the characters kill themselves in order for the plan to carry on. All of the O1 versions need to die because those were the ones that made the drastic change that happened at the end of Black Ops 2 Zombies. So, like I said, in order to proceed, they all need to die, and that is what Richtofen is doing. In the Giant, Richtofen has just done that, and we then move over to Der Eisendracher, where again, we blow up the moon, and Dempsey dies. Dempsey turns off his life support for his Tef subject, and that is his O1 version dead. Richtofen then collects the O1 version of Dempsey's soul within the summoning key, and we don't quite know where we are going next. But I believe we are going to Pompeii with Takio, and our next mission is to kill Takio, and then finally, it will be to kill the O1 version of Nikolai in Stalingrad. We get quite a few hints and quite a few quotes from our characters within De Isadraka that shows that we have stayed in the same universe from the giants. And one thing that doesn't make sense is to not stay in the same universe. If we travel from universe to universe, we know if we go to a different universe, things will be back to how they were. Things will reset. Us killing Richtofen and Dempsey, both in the Giant and Der Eisendracher, will not have happened. So therefore, it makes totally no sense to actually switch to a different universe now. Before it did, because these other characters existed in different universes, before it did make sense to travel from universe to universe, killing those characters and destroying those, un those universes so they don't exist. But now, I believe what we have done is destroyed each and every single one of them that these original four characters existed in. Remember, these characters say they have been separated from each other between Giant and Origins for a very long time. I believe it was like two years doing different things. And we now are stuck with this one universe that we are trying to make right. As Richtofen says, a universe has been born. This universe that we are in now, I believe is the one that we are trying to save and make a better tomorrow on for the future. Therefore, throughout our Black Ops 3 Zombie storyline right now, we will be staying in the same universe because we are trying to progress on Richtofen's plan. We are trying to kill all of these characters. If we reset and go to a different universe, they will just be alive again and we will just have to do it again. So, the reason I am making this is because I have been seeing a lot of people asking me or just saying that we will be going to different universes when if you think about it it no longer makes sense for us to switch to another universe as we are trying to progress and move on whereas if we do that it won't happen the only reason I can see us going to a different universe is if Richtofen manages to mess up and we need to do this again but I also believe he may have destroyed most of them if not all of them that includes our original characters that also brings me onto the question of a possibility of a moon remake I don't know why but I've been seeing a few channels that keep saying a moon remake is coming even after they can clearly see the moon is destroyed within dirt as a dracker it's not like the earth was destroyed we could actually go back to that because it was 
wasn't, you know, shattered to pieces like the moon is. There is no area for us to inhabit on the moon. Griffin Station has been destroyed, so I don't see a moon remake coming that adds to our zombie storyline. The only way I can see Treyarch bringing moon back is if they just bring the original back and just add it into the game as a bonus map. Just like they did with Black Ops 1 when they brought Darice back, Shino Nuna and all of the World at War maps. They could possibly do that. They could possibly do that bringing back some of our favourite zombies maps, but that wouldn't be a moon remake. That would just be them bringing it back. You can clearly see the moon is destroyed. I very much doubt or it doesn't make sense for us to switch to another universe. And if you think about it, are Treyarch really gonna do a Moon remake? Do you actually want Moon coming back? They've already brought a remake of the Giant. It doesn't make sense for me to them to bring a Moon remake. Do you really want remade maps? I would much prefer for them to spend their time on making a good new one. And finally, I just want to cover everything. People have been saying, well, what about all of these hints we've been getting towards a Moon remake? Yes, there was definitely something going on. I mean, we have just destroyed the Moon, so that could have been what it was hinting towards. And everything that took place between Dempsey and Groff towards the Moon as well. So that definitely could have been what all of these hints were about. Or maybe you think different. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But hopefully that clears up a couple of questions for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any video ideas or stuff you would like me to clear up or make videos on, let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like rating if you've enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to go and get a drink now. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.